Welcome to MyQ Facility. This video will show you how to add people in the MyQ Facility web portal. To add users to your facility, click the People tab. People management is where you add users with varying levels of access. To add a user with multi-level access, you will need to assign them a role and add an email address. You can also add users with credentialed access who won't have access through MyQ. Click Add a person. Fill in the required information. There are five options in the Roles drop-down menu. Roles determine the level of access a person has within MyQ. A role is required if they are to receive a web portal invite. Select the role with the permissions you'd like to grant this person. Entering the email address gives you the option to send a web portal access invite. If you want the user to have access to the facility through MyQ, you'll need to toggle the button on to send the invite. If you do not wish the user to have MyQ access, leave this unchecked. You'll enter their credential information later. If you have a smart reader, such as a CAP2D, credentials is where you'll assign an entry code to a specific user. You can create your own code or generate a random one with a specific number of digits. Once the code is entered, click Verify to ensure the code works and is not already in use. If your facility access options include using remotes or RFID transmitters, you can select those in the drop-down menu. An activation date is required. This typically is the date the user is created, but can also be set at a future date, such as the date a new hire will be starting. Access expiration dates are optional, but useful if you know the exact date a user is going to be leaving your organization, or if you want to grant access to users temporarily. Select the appropriate access group. Click Save. The user has successfully been added. For further information, speak with your customer success manager or visit our support website. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster powered by MyQ.